Hey guys, Riskay here, and welcome back to The Walking Dead Season 4. Um, so, last we left off, we met this guy named James, and Lily's back. Y'all remember how much I loved her in Season 1. She's every bit as charming here, too. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and jump back in. I hope we get to kill her in this game. I really do. Cause fuck that bitch. Oh, oh, anyway. Is he awake? Yeah, he's so hot. I can carry him. You're exhausted. No, I've got him. Cool. Love it. So wait, are we back at the school? Oh god, I don't think this is gonna go well. <laughs> Hurt. Hang on, we're almost there. Walker! Violet! Lewis! They came back! Look, you live out there alone, right? You could stay with us. Not ready. I can't keep carrying you. We'll be inside soon. Rest now. Shit. Is he... Uh... He's alive. He was shot. He's got a fever. Come on, let's get him inside. I can't. It's okay, buddy. I got you. Okay, now I'm a little sad that Lewis got shot. <laughs> I was so not bothered before, but now I'm like, oh, okay. Well, now that he's not being a dick anymore, maybe we can salvage this friendship. Maybe. I'm not giving my hopes up. But yeah, this is a, a lot of drama, but I'm living for it. Let me see. I have what I need upstairs. Come on. We got the shrapnel out of him. We? It's a long story. He's running a fever. Body's trying to fight infection, poor little guy. Ruby and Lewis will take care of him. You come with me. We can talk in the office. And Clem? Shh. You just try to rest, okay? We're gonna fix you right up. Clem! AJ, listen to Ruby, okay? She'll look after you. Come on. What do we do when we're scared? When fear starts to get the upper hand, we, we say, say fuck off to fear. I'm good now. Clementine, please. We need to talk.
What happened out in the woods? I saw they had you pinned and I... Shit, I got so crazy. When I heard you call for help, I didn't even think. I just let go of the arrow. I wasn't even sure if I'd hit her. And then Louis got shot six, six inches over. We'd be digging another grave. I really thought you were dead, Clem. It's really good to see you again. It's good to see you too. Just wish Mitch and the others felt the same. Lewis and I told them what happened in the woods. That woman who attacked you, Lily. So you do know her. We were wondering. Who the hell is she? I mean, I know you're not like with her group, but the others don't like the coincidence. Her showing up right after you? I mean, she's horrible. She always has been. Her dad was a racist asshole, and she defended everything he did. Great. As if we didn't have more than enough dickheads already. She murdered someone in our group. Gunned them down during an argument. A guy named Doug. He was really sweet. Protected the group. It was right at the start. I haven't seen Lily since. I believe you. But? There's something else. Lily said someone was with you at the gates. James. He saved me and AJ, let us stay in his camp for the night. Why did you bring him here? You led him right to us. I mean, he's a stranger, Clem. Running into those two in the woods, it proved we can't trust anybody. Look, he's not with the raiders. He lives by himself in the woods. Willie said he was wearing, I don't know, animal skins or something. He was wearing walker skin. That's how he gets past herds. He can guide them, too. <sighs> wow. Okay. I wouldn't have brought him here if I thought he was a threat. It's not that I don't trust you. I'm just worried about the others and what they might do. They didn't even get a chance to mourn Brody and Marlin before these child-snatching assholes showed up. And then you two come back after we thought you were dead. Now they're confused and no one knows how to feel about AJ. Violet? AJ is the least of their worries. I know, but everything is such a mess. They're scared and angry, and they're looking for someone to blame. I mean, they kicked you out. How am I supposed to make them change their minds about you? It was decided. Five to three against. I know it feels like it shouldn't matter, but they were afraid of you. Both of you. Last thing they need is more things to fear right now. You don't have to. Let me convince them. James told me what Lily and Abel will do next. He said they'll get more people and guns and come attack us. Take everyone here. How the hell would he know? He's watched them for a while. They're at war with another community. They take people to fight for them. Is that what happened to Minnie and Sophie? They turned them into soldiers? Yeah, it'll happen to us too if we don't stop them. Minnie didn't even like killing walkers. Look at this place. It's a fortress. With a little work, we could make this place really hard to attack. Do you actually know how to do that? Yeah, I was part of a siege once in a town called Richmond. Here, let me show you. Okay, let's plan some defenses so we can fortify the walls, set so traps and admin. Divide the courtyard, fortify the walls, and fortify the walls. Let's fortify some walls. I like that idea. We've got good, strong walls. We need to make them hard to climb over, so the raiders have to come in through the gates. We used to keep barbed wire in the greenhouse. Well, sounds like a plan. How about the courtyard? The courtyard's pretty wide open, not a lot of cover. We should flip the picnic tables, narrow down the pathways through it, so we'll know which way they're coming. At the very least, it'll give us protection if they get past these walls. Okay, what about admin? This is where we should make our stand. There's only one way in, the front, and then there's the big central staircase. If we rig that path with traps, we can pull back here. Luring in our attackers. I like it. Okay, what about the greenhouse? 
Well, you guys don't use the greenhouse anymore, do you? No, we used to. Then we lost someone out there. Walkers overran the place and Marlin wouldn't let us go back. <laughs> Safe zone. We need to get that barbed wire so they can't climb the walls. I'll go. Are you sure? It's gonna be swarming with walkers by now. Okay, what the hell's going on? Well, he told me she was back, but I was like, no way. Violet wouldn't just go against what we all decided. Shh, would you keep it down? The little boy is asleep. His fever's already going down, Clem. He's gonna be okay. Great. We're just giving them our medicine, too? Mitch, those people who shot Lewis, they're arming up to attack the school. We need Clem's help. Like hell we do. For all we know, she's one of them. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's neck, you'd know that. All I know is that since she showed up, it's been trouble. These raiders all carry guns, and they know how to use them. So whatever you think of me and AJ, deal with it, or you're gonna end up dead. I'd rather take my chances. Clem's going to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go too. You know, to keep the peace. Fuck, Vi. Since when are you the one making the calls? Since no one else stepped the fuck up. <sighs> These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the greenhouse once I've explained the situation. See you there. I'm so sorry, little dude. Please be okay. I... Poor little AJ, it breaks my heart. But okay, so we're gonna go get some, some barbed wire from the greenhouse for the walls. I'm excited. Fuck that Mitch dude. Not in the mood. Not in the mood to deal with his bullshit. Guess I didn't realize how long it's been. How much it's changed. Uh, this ain't budging. You gonna stand there sulking all day, or you gonna do something useful? Well, we need that barbed wire. There must be another way in. Okay, I'm gonna stay far, far, far fucking away from him. Let's find some collectibles. Find a way in. I'm working on it. Ooh, what's this? Damn. Wild boar. Not too many in these parts, but they were more common where I grew up. I used to hunt them with my old man when I was little. They make terrible noises when they die. I like it. It'll look good on my wall. Love that she can just fit a whole skull in her pocket. Okay, so Ruby's alright. I'm okay with her at the moment. We'll see if that lasts. I hope. I hope it does. Fingers are crossed. I'm not talking to Mitch. Mm, I can't see shit. Well, there's too much condensation on the inside. Condensation? That's a big word for you. Shut up. Let me try that ladder. That window. I bet we can get in there. Good spot. Mitch. Come here and give me a boost. Wait. Make her go first. We send the one we don't mind losing. That's an ugly thing to say. Vi says we need her help, right? She shouldn't mind sticking her neck out. I'll go first. I don't mind. Figured you'd fight it. 
Thanks, Clem. Holler if one grabs you. Otherwise, we'll come as soon as you give the all clear. I guess we'll know when the door opens. I'm just. Oh, stop being a bitch. Oh god. What? Shush? Just shush? Okay. Alright, we're just starting off. It's fine. Damn. Not bad. Oh, look. Wild ginger. Eastern prickly pear, Jerusalem artichoke. False Solomon seal. Let's find that barbed wire and anything else that might be useful. All right, I'll try. Find barbed wire. Will do. What's this? Okay. So much to say about it. Could be a weapon. Or use it to dig a grave. You weren't there when we dug the holes for Marlin and Brody. We had to use cups and bowls. It took forever. Am I supposed to care? Found something? Yep, maybe useful. I mean, shit. Couldn't hurt. Dibs. You're useless. <laughs> Literally fucking useless. What's in here? Okay. Hmm. Hey, Ruby, you want to give me a hand here? You seem happy. You can only eat the same bland rabbit stew so many times before you go crazy. These herbs are gonna do wonders for morale. You wait and see. Okay, I'm down. I'm here for it. That implies I get to stay. Some mushrooms are edible. Here we go. Probably not edible. Love it. Should I eat it? I... No, no, no. Okay, how do I open this? Wait, can I get the, the, the shovel? Will the shovel help? No? Damn. I thought for sure the shovel would do something. Well, there's not really... Oh, there we go. I mean, her pockets must be bulging. <laughs> She's carrying so many things. Uh, sure. Barbed wire. A lot of it, too. That should keep the raiders from climbing our walls. Hey, we can use these. For what? We can make bombs out of these. 
Bombs? Are you serious? Totally. It's the kind of stuff I made back home. He used to blow shit up. That's why he's a troubled youth. Guilty. I just need some propane and something to create a spark. And we'll have ourselves a nice little homemade explosive. So you're a bomb boy, but you're giving me shit? Really? Fucking hypocrite. God damn it. All right, we need to talk. Did you find anything? What do you think? Okay, just asking. You know, the barbed wire idea is smart, I'll give you that. Those assholes try and climb our walls, they'll tear their guts out. I kind of like to see that. Well, then stop being an asshole. Okay, was that it? Are we done? Are we good? No? What else do I need to look at? I'm very kind of sort of confused. Ah, there we go. If I remember right, there's a science lab through that door. Maybe there's propane in there. Come on, help me move this thing. Okay. You got it. Ha-ha! Take that. Okay, let's see what's inside. We'll see what's inside in the next episode. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends, hit the bell so you don't miss an upload, and I'll see you guys next time.